Maria from Latvia. This is my first time for para bobsled and I'm just trying to manage my fears from speed. At first I thought it's not that difficult as it is. I just thought, yeah, you sit in that bob and just do some steerings and that's all. But then I found out it's so difficult because you need to concentrate, you need to focus. It's not about your body, it's about your mind. There is uh, not much difference in between being a woman pilot and a male pilot. The only difference, of course, is, is weight and uh, a little bit of strength at the beginning. But um, it's actually sometimes easier to teach a woman how to drive a bobsleigh because you need soft steers and uh, a lot of the guys use their bicep muscles a little too much and the, the, the ladies, when you say a soft steer, yeah, then sometimes that's easier. I think it would be fantastic if we had more women in the sport um, from all nations. It's uh, just kind of show the boys that we can do it too. One of the cool things about para bobsled, especially the way we have it right now, is that it takes all the physical aspect out of it. It's a pure skill, it's pure driving, and coming from bobsled as a competitive athlete, you always wanted to know, you know, what separates things? You're wondering about equipment, you're wondering about start, but here in para bobsled, it's all about driving, and so what that means is it's a totally equal field for men and women, and it's a great opportunity for women to come out and have a chance to compete against men and see in an amazing adrenaline-driven sport. First time it was so scary because <laughs> I was like pushed in something and I cannot do anything, just steering and try not to get off of Bob or of the track. <laughs> yeah, but it was so fun. I was smiling all the way down. And one of the cool things I've seen this week, having a chance to coach young girls, and especially with Anya coming in, is you see a side of people that you would not have seen before. Bob said brings out a fire, especially that someone came, comes in, they might be a little bit timid, and then you send them down the track and you see this spark that they might not even known was there. And that, as a coach, is incredibly gratifying, seeing you know someone wake up and realize, wow, this is this really cool sport and I can do this. And it's incredibly empowering for women athletes of any kind. I think I started to love it <laughs> and that's the best thing because right now I found something to do and something that makes me feel alive and something that makes me feel so great when I'm here down and it's a lot of adrenaline and speed and great people around me. It's not about the goal, it's about enjoying it. <laughs> 